Mother Nature dealt a double blow last month. Not only did it blanket much of the east coast with snow, but it also made it harder for those searching for work. Despite the tough weather conditions, the unemployment rate remained unchanged as employers cut fewer jobs. For the president, today visiting one company that's actually growing and adding new staff, the news was bittersweet. Even though it's better than expected, it's more than we should tolerate. Uh, far too many Americans remain out of work. Far too many families are still struggling in these difficult economic times. And that's why I'm not going to rest, and my administration is not going to rest, uh, in our efforts to help people who are looking to find a job. More than 14 million Americans can't find work. But it is the young, trying to get their first step on the career ladder, who face long-lasting damage. Hi. Hi. My name's Christine. Hi there. My name's Ty. Take Christine Schoon and Ty Plaha. Their hopes of finding a dream job are fading. You know, I'm looking for pretty much anything that may be open. 22-year-old but... Ty has come to this career fair in search of leads. When he graduated in 2008, he had a job waiting for him in Johannesburg, South Africa. But he missed home and returned to the US last September. Nearly six months on, and no offers of employment have taken their toll. I probably didn't realize how tough the job market was going to be at the end of 2009. Um, and it was a bit of a shock to the system. I thought, I'm coming back. I have this great international experience. Uh, it's going to be easy for me to find something. And that wasn't the case. All right, nice Thanks meeting you. Too. Good luck Bye. to you. Christine still has a few months left of university, but already feels the pressure to find a job. She owes more than $40,000 in student loans. To help pay for her studies at George Washington University, she works part-time at this bowling alley. She had hoped to swap this job for one in government. Now she's setting her sights lower. I was hoping, you know, I could get great jobs with the State Department or government or consulting and I could be making, you know, fifty to seventy thousand dollars a year because that was what GW grads were getting paid and that got cut real quick. Like now I'm just looking in in government as administrative assistants, like I'm just applying as secretaries. And that's the big concern. Starting further down the corporate ladder could hurt Christine's future earnings potential, resulting in a lower standard of living in the long term. If it's April and I still don't have a job, I might be looking at just, you know, living at home and getting three different retail jobs or a couple waitressing jobs. The president promised he wouldn't rest until businesses are hiring again. But that may not be soon enough for this crop of graduates.